Lily's Garden, Episode 2. I have 123 stars, so we're going to try to use about 100 of them. Uh, first task is to fix the mailbox. Lily says, it occurs to me that I don't actually know how to fix a mailbox. I'll just get a new one. Perfect. I spent so many summers out here with great Aunt Mary digging and planting, knees and hands in the dirt, helping out with the bees, gathering honey. She looks at the beehive. The bees, I better check on the little buzzers. Hmm, you guys aren't doing so well, are you? She looks at the mess of a garden. This used to be a flower bed bursting with bee food and I don't see any clean water nearby either. All right, little buddies, as your new landlady, I demand that we, sorry, I demand we get that nectar flowing again, first thing. Well, first thing right after I've cleaned up this whole area. Uh, next task is tidy up area. Oh, Aunt Mary, it's tough to see the garden in such bad shape. You could have asked for help, you know, but I guess I could have just come to visit you more often. Dot, dot, dot. Right, I've got a bee colony that needs saving. Let's clean up this mess. This is kind of fun. Rake, rake, more raking. Rake, rake, rake. Look at me, I'm gardening, she says, as she's still raking, a few hours later. Phew, that's better. It's already starting to look a lot more like the place I used to know. And next task is lay out flower bed. Okay, Lily, time to get those dainty little acquaintance, uh, accountant hands dirty and awaken that inner landscaper. You gonna let me pick? There we go. All right. Lunchtime, little bees. Yeah, come and get it. Ah, I haven't felt like this in years. I think I really needed this. Now for the water. I'm pretty sure that used to be a bird bath. Next is build bird bath. Geez, it smelled like something crawled up and died in there. She looks in. Oh, something did. I'll just get rid of that. Fresh, clean water for winged friends of all stripes. Now you can feed your larva, cool down the hive, dilute crystallized honey. Miss Roberts, hello, someone says. Some old guy is standing on our porch. Who's that, Lily says. He looks ancient. Next task is greet the visitor. Oh, stupid reward thingy. Go away, I don't care. Okay, Lily says, uh, can I help you, sir? Ah, there you are, Miss Roberts. Pleasure to meet you, the guy says. I'm Philip Jones. I was your great aunt's lawyer. I'm here to explain the special condition, quote unquote, of your inheritance. Wait, what special condition? Lily asks. Uh, he responds, let's see now. The special condition reads, Lily Roberts shall restore the ground to their former glory within 30 days. If she fails to do so, her inheritance will be canceled. Lily says, former glory? 30 days? What? The guy says, as the executor of Mary La Rosa's will, it is my duty to decide if her standards are met. Let's start with a little inspection, shall we? And they go back into the small garden area. They look at the birdbath. Hmm, excellent work. Although, a little too fancy, mayhaps. 
Mm, yes. I'll give it three out of five stars. I, I'm not sure I... Lily responds. The guy walks over to the little flower bed thing. He says, hmm, a bold choice, I must say. Very, uh, modern. Two stars. Good gracious, this walkway is a broken hip waiting to happen. Negative two stars. Lily says, negative stars? He walks back over the archway. I must say, if you intend to keep your inheritance, Miss Roberts, I hope you dazzle me on my next visit. And then he walks away. Lily says, wait, 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 Mr. Jones, dazzle you how? Please elaborate. Ugh, he's already gone. How did he move so fast with a cane? Okay, Lily, you've dealt with vague goals and impossible deadlines before. Let's do this. And next item on the agenda is to build a walkway. Lily says, prepare to be dazzled, Mr. Jones. Be dazzling. One month to restore the grounds? No problem. No problem at all. There's the main garden area. Easy peasy. Then there's the old, pro, uh, old pond. No big deal. I might even have time to go fishing. Ha! Huh. And then there's Great Uncle Arthur's studio. And, 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 and all the rest. One month to do all this? What were you thinking, Aunt Mary? Gah. Okay, I'm freaking out. Need some tea to calm my nerves. Tea with honey! And next task is to collect honey. Which I'm not sure she can do with that damaged bee house. Hey, little fellows, she says. How's that lavender nectar? Right? I know! I'm just going to borrow a little honey. Is that okay with you? Let me just grab that top lid very carefully. Crash. Whoops, she says. I was in worse shape than I thought. Hmm, there's something stuck in the honeycomb. An old photo? And it's an old photo of Aunt Mary and her when she was a kid doing the beehive thing. Uh, Lily says, that's the summer Aunt Mary taught me everything about beekeeping. We used to sing for the bees. She said if you listen closely, you could hear the bees singing along. Uh, 1993. Crazy old Aunt Mary. This place, I can't just let it get sold or worse. I'm going to do right by Aunt Mary and restore the grounds no matter what it takes. Hey, sorry about your house. I'm going to build you guys a new and better home. I promise. Next task is to repair the beehive. I'm thinking five floors, 60,000 bedrooms, and free parking in the basement. Sound good? Good. A castle fit for a queen bee and her loyal subjects. See you later, pollinator. Sun's going down. Tomorrow I can check out more of the grounds. And next task is to start a new day. Ugh, I hate these reward things. I don't care. I never use them. Go away. And it's downloading the next chapter. Wow, that got dark fast. Lily says, Well, I'm beat. I'm going to sleep like a rock. Oh, well, right after I've unpacked the car... Like a rock. 3.02 a.m. Ow, 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 someone says. 
Lily says, Ugh, come on, I just fallen asleep. What's with all the yowling? She walks out of the house. Get out of here, kitty. Shoo. Wait, is that a person making that awful racket? Uh, her neighbor guy is sitting on the top of his roof playing a banjo? Question mark. Anyway, uh, Luke says, Ow, I'm going around that green icy mountain. She says, hey, up there. He says, hey, yourself. Lily says, I don't think we've met. I'm Lily, your new neighbor. He says, I'm Luke. What are you doing outside at 3 a.m.? Lily says, dot, 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 glare. Luke says, dot, dot, dot. Luke says, <laughs> sorry, guess I'm used to the old lady. She could never hear me up here. Anyway, uh, nice meeting you, neighbor. I'll just move the bluegrass inside the garage. Lily says, thanks. What are you doing outside at 3 a.m.? Unbelievable, Lily says to herself. Day two. Good morning, bees. Good morning, flowers. Good morning, weird banjo playing neighbor. All right, I've got 29 days left to whip this place back into shape. That's 232 working hours minus lunch. That's, yeah. Uh, what is, why is there an entire junkyard's worth of scrap metal in my garden? Ugh, dot, dot, dot. Luke, she grumbles. First task of day two, talk to Luke. She goes over to Luke's house. Uh, I was so angry last night. I feel a little embarrassed, but I have to confront Luke with that scrap pile. Uh, sweaty palms, check. Alarming heart rate, check. Tick and left eyebrow, double check. Get it together, Lily. You're a grown woman. You can do this. Dot, dot, dot. Morning, Lily, Luke says. Uh, hey, hey, Luke, uh, we need to talk about, to talk about, uh, stuff, she says. Luke says, yeah, all right, want some coffee? What? No, I mean, I, hey, what are you doing up so early, she asks. Looking for dog, Luke says. Which dog, she asks. My dog, his name's Dog, Luke says. You named your dog Dog. Hey, I'm a sculptor, not a writer. If you see him, will you let me know? He asks. Of course, but, uh, do you know who all that scrap, uh, do you know who all that scrap metal in my garden belongs to? She asks. Oh, that whole thing, Luke responds. Uh, yeah, my bad, my bad. Let me just grab some gloves and I'll get rid of it. Next task, remove scrap metal. Luke says, you know, we could just call it an art piece, quote unquote, and leave it. Lily says, sure, neighborly love or trash pile in someone else's garden by Luke. Luke says, <laughs> hey, uh, this might take a little while, you know. Lily says, I'll help you out if you promise not to put any more art, quote unquote, in my garden. Luke says, deal. A little while later. Luke says, that's the last of it. Sorry for the mess, neighbor. It's okay, she says. Hey, with the scraps gone, you should check and see if dog's hiding in the old flower garden. And next task is to check out garden. Luke says, wow, this place looks post-apocalyptic. The old lady must have totally neglected it for years. 
Lily says, my great aunt was really old in the end. I guess at some point she just couldn't do the garden work anymore. Luke says, ah, so you inherited this place. I couldn't figure out why anyone would ever buy this dump. I mean, uh, hey, listen, I can help you restore the old gazebo here if you like. Lily says, really? Luke says, look, I've been bending steel for vintage cars for the past two decades. I can do a gazebo. Well, that's two more decades than I've been doing it, so sure, Lily responds. Great, Luke says, I'll go grab some tools. And then he walks away. Lily says, hey, what should I do if I find Dog? Also, how will I know he's your dog? What's the, what does he look like? Luke? And next task is to dismantle the old gazebo. Luke is back with a sledgehammer. Luke says, first I need to remove this old rusty metal. Stand back. You sure you know what you're doing? Lily asks. Gah, he says as he lifts the sledgehammer. He rushes at the gazebo and starts smashing it five minutes later. Now it's a giant pile of scrap metal. Lily says, wow, you're like a human wrecking ball. Well, destroying stuff is easy, Luke says, especially when you have a sledgehammer. Lily says, I guess the tricky part is building it back up, right? Well, any Joe Schmo can build something all wobbly and useless. Like, you can't bend steel just like that. It takes time and patience and skill, Luke says. You need to measure the exact angle and pick just the right materials, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Sorry about the sales pitch. Old habit, he continues. I'll have the new steel prepped and ready by tomorrow. Thanks, Lily says. Oh, hey, Luke says. You should check your mailbox. I saw the mailman stop by earlier. Will do, Lily says. So what should I do with the rusty gazebo parts? Luke? He walked away. So she's talking to herself again. Uh, next is remove pile o gazebo parts. Is it weird that I let my drowsy, unshaven neighbor come over and use a sledgehammer? Lily asks herself. It was nice to have another pair of hands around, though. Hmm. Sigh. Ah, <laughs> gotta clean up that rebar. A bit later. Cough. I think I inhaled some rust. Huh? What's this? She picks something up off the ground. Another old photo, she says. Uh, it's Aunt Mary and her husband in their wedding stuff. Uh, she says, that's Aunt Mary and Uncle Arthur on their wedding day. She's so beautiful and he's so handsome. I wish I had a chance to meet Uncle Arthur. I think I would have liked him. She puts the photo away. I'll add that one to the scrapbook. And next task is to check the mailbox. Bills, bills, bills. Oh, a letter, Lily says. It's from Cousin Larry. He's coming to visit. Larry must have been pretty upset when he found out about the will. As Uncle Arthur's son, he would have inherited this place if it wasn't for little old me. Ugh, more confrontation coming up. I, I actually clicked that too fast. Um, I spy some needs in, sorry, I spy some weeds in need of pulling. Sorry, I can't rewind this because it's like a set story thing, unfortunately, so... My bad. I'll try not to click too fast in the future. Uh, next task is remove weeds one out of two. I need some gardening tools for this. Now, where do I find... Oh, right. Aunt Mary kept those in the basement. And the basement is disgusting. Lily says, <coughs> a little dusty in here. There's Aunt Mary's gardening gloves and another photo. Uh, Lily's in the wheelbarrow while Aunt Mary is wheeling the wheelbarrow. Uh, she says, that's the day Aunt Mary and I planted those tulips together. 
I had so many rides in that old wheelbarrow. Dot, dot, dot. I miss you, Aunt Mary. Sniff. Okay, weeds. Next task is remove weeds two out of two. Oh, and I got the stupid reward thing. All right, weeds, your nutrient stealing days are over. Hey, this is kind of cathartic. The weeds is my breakup. This weed is my old job. This weed is cousin Larry. Yank, yank, yank. 347 weeds later. Now that felt good. Now I just need to make sure these things don't spread any seeds. Of course, that empty space will be a real eyesore. Unless I fill it with enough bright, colorful flowers to make me forget all my problems. Next task is to lay out flower beds. Okay, Mr. Jones, not sure what kind of flower could possibly dazzle you. I do know that it was so much fun riding in the wheelbarrow around the garden with Aunt Mary planting tulips. Tulips! I need to plant tulips, of course! There we go. A little snipping, a little trimming. It's all gonna make this garden beautiful again. Trimming. Like trimming cheating boyfriends out of your life. Dot, dot, dot. Stupid Blaine. He's 3,000 miles away now, and he can still make my blood boil. I need to sit down for a bit. As soon as I get some benches that haven't become termite food. Uh, next task is to destroy weeds. <laughs> I know what to do with all my problems. Throw them in a trash bag where they belong. Ten minutes later. All problems gone. Yeah, woobadoo. Woobadoo. What's all the yelling about, Luke asks. Just, uh, got a little too into weed removal. Must be the, uh, thin mountain air? Luke says, I've heard of it making people lightheaded, but not making them yell woo doo at the trash bag. Okay, well, another explanation could be that I'm just a maniac. Who even says woo ba doo Woo-ba-doo! Luke screams for some reason. He continues, Ah, jeez, looks like it's contagious. Thanks a lot. Lily says, Oh no, I'm scared. Uh, he says, You should be. There are two screaming weirdos loose on the mountain. Oh, hey, what I really wanted to tell you is that a gaze uh, the gazebo parts are shaping up nicely. I'll let you choose the final design when we build the gazebo tomorrow. Woo ba doo, neighbor. And she responds, Woo ba doo indeed. That's such a weird word to say. Uh, next task is to build the benches. Time for a weary gardener to take a little break. It's weird to call myself that. I was an accountant until like a week ago, after all. If I fits, I sits. And she sits on the new bench. Uh, a spare second to enjoy the fresh air. Dot, dot, dot. Aunt Mary, you mischievous old biddy. What have you gotten me into? Something tells me that you had Mr. Jones wait, and wait to tell me about this special condition until after I got here. Now there's a crazy month ahead of me. So much work to handle all by myself. Ugh, Blaine probably would have had this place back in a shape in a week, all without ever putting his hands in the dirt. 
Once he sets his mind on something, he was totally dedicated to do it. Unless the something we're talking about is me, of course. No. Heck no. I don't need Blaine to get this done. This is my new life, and he's not invited. I can do anything I put my mind to. And I stayed when I got that news. I don't think the old Lily would have. That's a nice thought to liven up the day. Uh, sorry. That's a nice thought to light up the day. Lights! I need to get some garden lights. And next task is to build lights. Spending evenings out here with Aunt Mary was always magical. Out here in the mountains, you can actually see the stars at night, not like the city. I think some lanterns would make it real nice and cozy out here. Coziness overload, dot, dot, dot. Hmm, guess I'll have to wait till nightfall before that nice and cozy feel really kicks in. And she's walking to the back of the garden. Okay, that untrimmed hedge has been bothering me all day. Let's do this. And next task is to trim the hedge. Hedge shears? Check. Determined facial expression? Check. And she starts climbing trimming the hedge. Hey, this isn't so hard. Trim, trim, cut, cut, make a mistake, try to cover it up. Ch trim, trim, cut, uh, cut. Uh, many, many hours later. Trim, trim. All done. Hey, what's that? A dog comes out of the bushes. Arf, arf, the dog says. Hey, dog, that's a mighty loud bark for such a little dog. Hold on, I'll just call Luke. Luke says, hey, that's dog. Hey, buddy. He walks over to the two. You can't just run off like that, Luke says to the dog. I was worried about you, boy. Uh, the dog says, bah, for some reason. Uh, Luke says, thanks for finding my boy, Lily. Uh, Luke, Lily says, you know that dog is a girl, right? Uh, Luke responds. Lily says, yeah. Luke says, he's not just fixed? Lily says, how long have you had this dog? Luke says, just a few, uh, months. <laughs> Must be that thin mountain air, huh? Come on, boy. I mean, girl. Let's go home and get some food. Dog says, arf. No wonder you've never lifted your leg, Luke says to the dog. Thought you just had a bad hip or something. Suppose that means I actually, uh, I need to actually get you fixed, huh? Barf, dog says. Lily says, that's an oddly heartwarming ending to the, uh, sorry, that's an oddly heartwarming ending to a long day. Yeah, you better damn well get that dog fixed. I work at an animal shelter, so I really know that the over pet population problems. And I get the final reward of the day. Um, last task is to start a new day. And it's downloading. Lily says, good night flowers, good night bees, good night weird sledgehammer wielding neighbor who owns a girl dog named Dog. 3.02 a.m. Lily says, mm, it's Prince Luke. He has come to take me away on his flying unicorn. This is really normal stuff uh, that must be happening in real life. Uh, Dream Luke says, hey, baby, what do you say we get out of here? I've got a magic castle with your name on it, literally. In fact, my neighbors aren't happy that your name is so huge and bright. 
Anyway, hop on, hot stuff. Billy says, how could I say no to those ungroomed locks and three-day growth of facial hair? Oh, Luke, I'm so happy this is happening in real life. All of that stuff with the house is just, like, whatever, you know? Dream Luke says, hold on, baby. Just some highly normal flaming meteors ahead. Lily says, just normal stuff that happens in real life. Day three. Lily says, what a weird dream. Not very realistic, though. I mean, me having a crush on Luke? Please. Luke says, morning, Lily. Lily says, gah, Prince Luke. Luke says, uh, what? Lily says, oh, uh, I thought I saw some animal. Prince, Luke. Luke says, huh. Probably dogs. Anyway, sorry it took so long to get the parts, but I'm good to start the gazebo now. Lily says, oh, right. I also have some flower bed business, but since you're around... Luke says, no worries. Just let me know when you want to start. Lily says, yeah, you've got a unicorn to feed in the meantime. Okay, I'm going to stop this episode here because it is running long. I didn't realize how long using up 100 stars would take, but, uh, you know, that's two days. See you in episode three.